MN Realty. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is House to Home. Now, if you tuned in last week, and many of you did, and many of you watched on YouTube and left a lot of good comments telling us you enjoyed last week's episode on the economics of the real estate market. So we are going to continue continue that trend and someone who I don't believe has a degree in economics but <laughs> no. with all all that you guys do as far as projections and as far as estimates uh -huh. and everything like that you Liz Duenas and Gina and all of your colleagues over at Remax Diamond Realty Guam should have doctoral degrees in <laughs> economics because that, that is a very important part of what you do it is because we need to be at the pulse of things when things sell or uh, when we close escrow we need to know what the market trends are and we have to see what values, whether they're up or down. So it's really critical, especially for an investor and for our Guam home buyers, we want them to get the best deal possible. Mm -hmm. And I think last week Gina talked about the interest rates. Yep. The interest rates are at a, you know, I remember the day when they were 13%, uh, 12%, mm -hmm. uh, and those were years ago. And now they're able to get interest rates anywhere from 3.8 to 4.5, you know, in that range. Now, if someone is looking to buy, they should do that now because the interest rates are shifting, they're changing, and the federal government is also changing some of their um, federal guidelines, which does affect the window of closing your escrow. Mm -hmm. So there's more disclosure, disclosure, disclosure. And basic economic theory, as, as you know, Gina was telling us last week, and I'm sure you're going to go into it this week, is that you know understanding that there's a life cycle that, that you have to deal with and it is cyclical by nature and everything right. and and as the market continues to get better and better and better while the general consumer is like oh you know this is a wonderful time and everything economists tend to get really really nervous because they're like okay if that's a natural bubble the bigger it gets at some point it's going to burst and then that's when things you know right. get kind of dangerous and everything right. so how, how do you and your colleagues how do you guys assess you know what what part of the life cycle we're in and how do you pass that on to the consumer well right now our market it hasn't spiked because there was a period where it was doing the little spikes and a lot of our buyers uh, were buying anywhere from two to four hundred thousand the local homes but right now we're starting to see a trend where the business owners are buying the million dollar homes uh, nine hundred thousand dollar homes we've been closed we just closed one recently to a business owner and a few CEOs at the one point you know over the million dollar price tag which it was so rare at one time and just within the past year we're seeing more of that happen but as it affects our local market usually we were waiting for that military buildup to hit so that our prices will go up well that hasn't happened and as a result the prices are still stable which means it's still a good time to buy mm -hmm. because once that part of our market picks up, then you'll start to see the trend of other prices starting to pick up as well. But while that hasn't happened, it behooves all of us to start either investing or buying your home, especially with the grants that are available with the government. And there are no limitation except for the price up to 250. I think, um, I know there was some talk about looking at increasing that value. I don't know if the legislature has looked at that yet, mm -hmm. but uh, if you purchase a home at 250, for example, there is a grant that will afford you the closing cost and your escrow fees mm -hmm. as part of that grant. But yes, it is cyclic. I just got back from a trip uh, to Singapore, which is similar size, except they're at 3 million in terms of the population base, mm -hmm. rather Much big versus that. ours, it's 160, 170. Um, and their real estate values are very high, like a thousand square meter, two thousand square meters. So can you imagine? Um, and they rose from a third world country to a first world country, and it's all about Relatively housing. Relatively quickly too. It wasn't very didn't quickly, take that long. Very though. quickly. And what was amazing was they focus on homes for their families. They used to live in the slums. They had people in slums, and their prime minister decided let's change our country around and start to build homes for the family. So they subsidize their housing, but it's not free, it's subsidized. People still have to pay, people still have to qualify, but it's green, it's lush. I mean, it's amazing country right now in terms of, but high in terms of uh, their real estate market. And conversely, what's happening on the flip side of the coin in Greece right now, what the troubles that they're facing and, and that country's economy is, you know, one of the things that economists over there and, and leadership tend to do is they say, okay, well, if things get really, really bad, how is this going to affect 
the average person and you know the value of the drachma and and you know right. will will they unfortunately default on their mortgage payments that's so, right. so it all comes back to real estate right and then you notice there was a flow of people that were heading down to Australia mm -hmm. so they were kind of like escaping the country before it drops and of course they're moving their monies if they were investors but it is a trend and it's cyclic so for Guam you want to write that in right now I remembered when we did the Villa Carmen project uh, I use, usually tell our investors we're like two years out. So if you're looking at it, uh, investing or building, this is the time because if you're two years out before the buildup starts to kick in, then the prices will start to increase. So if you want to appreciate your values, this is the right time, especially when the interest rates are low. Now, question for you. Now, it's kind of easy for for you and your colleagues you know in the real estate industry or for those of us in media because you know we've got charts we've got subscriptions to all these you know mm -hmm. data services and everything like that that mm -hmm. we look at day in and day out and we can tap you know mm -hmm. the expertise of our colleagues or other people in the industry right what can the average consumer do when they're staying at home and most people don't want to spend you know an hour a day pouring over you know charts and graphs and everything like that what, what can the average person do just to figure out what type what stage of the economic life cycle we're in right now and how they can manage their well, I, I know the banks usually put out a yearly economic study. There's also um, Casa Guam, which who, they would usually do a little blurb about how the market is doing. Um, if they want to know what the value of their house is, of course, they can call us, and then we could do a market analysis and say, okay, three years ago when you bought your home at 150000 it's now worth 250 or 290 depending on what upgrades you've done. So we do get a lot of calls of people saying, I'm not really interested in selling right now, but I'd like to know how my property has appreciated because I'm looking at retiring in a year or two and moving off island. So we've had people who actually prep two years in advance to say, I'm ready to retire, I want to sell, but what could I get for it? So we actually do an analysis for them to give them an idea. And you find folks at, Re at Remax are always available for Oh yes, anything. definitely, All definitely. Right. And you're always available to us, so we will always appreciate when you guys come in and educate yeah. us, so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, thank you so much. Stay tuned everybody, we are back with more show right after the study or charts. It actually helps, that economic thing comes in handy.